Greetings everyone, Klauprof here and here is my top 10 tips for hardcore in the swamp. Alright, on tip number 10 we have the swamp plan. Before going into the swamp you actually need to prepare ahead, so bring some extra food with you, some meats for resistance and healing, stone, wood, resin and bronze nails. Also don't forget your swamp key, that's really important. Also, I've got my boat loaded up with a lot of wood, so I can craft a small base once I arrived into the swamp. For the tip number 9, I have the swamp base. Once you have arrived into the swamp, the best thing is to start building a base, and I usually build them on top of these sunken crypts. Just make sure you leave some space from the ground so your stairs don't touch the ground, and your monsters won't be able to get into your little base. Doesn't have to be anything fancy, just a fire, a bed, a workbench and some storage here and there. So for the tip number eight, edge is safe. Here's my advice, keep to the edge of the swamp. Whenever you're exploring you have the ocean there and there will be less monsters. So you will only have to deal with occasional leeches and a few drogger. Don't go too far deep into the swamp early on. For the tip number seven I have the swamp roads. So roads are really important in the swamp not only so you can carry your materials once you get your uh, card there, but also they're really good areas, flat surface areas, where you can uh, actually fight monsters. You don't want to fight the monsters in the water or on any other slopes. For the tip number six, I have the swamp spawners. Try and take these things out as soon as possible, because um, a lot of monsters in here is a bad combo. You can try and take them out with a bow and arrow, you can try and take them out like this. Only it's a bit difficult like this. Because these monsters can pack quite a punch, as you can see. So for the tip number 5, death in the water. Try to avoid these type of scenarios where going into water in the swamp, especially in hardcore. That's really dangerous. As you can see here, I can't even dodge roll properly in the water. And if you're getting into this type of scenario where you're surrounded by leeches, you're basically screwed unless you have a mead. Like this. That can actually save your life. For the tip number four, we have the Abomination. Now one quick way to deal with these guys is to climb on top of a sunken crypt, like this. They can't reach you in here, so it's impossible for them to get you in here, and you can start spamming flaming arrows on them. You can also try and lure them into one of those circling core spawners. Or you can try your luck and chop him down with an axe. Like this, just make sure you dodge roll his AoE attacks. He's actually weak to fire and axes. On tip number three we have the crypt spawner. So let's just say you're coming into a room like this one. And you just happen yourself upon a spawner. Let me just take the a blob, right, and if you see the spawner right here, try and use a bow and arrow to delete it, otherwise, and also don't destroy the muddy scrap piles all the way through, because that will prevent the monsters from actually getting to you. Okay, so for the tip number two, I have prohibited swimming. Don't swim in the sunken crypts. There are these type of entrances. And then again, there's this type of one that looks like a tunnel that goes somewhere. And you might thinking, might be thinking, okay, let's go inside and see what's there. And problem is, uh, you might get yourself into this type of situation. And trying to swim from these guys, it's a no-go because they can follow you in the crypt and you're getting slowed. And your life might be endangered in a stupid situation like that one. For the tip number one, I have nights out. Obviously, spending the night out anywhere is a bad idea in Valheim, especially in the swamp, where we can have this type of scenario. Let's see. Come on, buddy. Let me be. You're getting a lot of debuffs, the wet and the cold debuff, and also the lack of visibility and the extra monsters that you're getting in the swamp uh, will be a problem. It will hinder your progression a lot. So, nights out equals lights out, especially in the swamp biome. 